on. It's Sunday morning, March something, I don't know, 24th, I think. Um, it is still morning. What time is it? 10.24, so yeah, it's still morning. Uh, cleaning up the aftermath of um, being sick from blood donation. <laughs> Thankfully, my shoes came clean. I'm not going to go into any more detail and gross you all out, but I've got to go check the car next. Thankfully, most of it made it outside the car. <laughs> we are still babysitting Lily until tomorrow, and she's here in her crate. Uh, Grandpa's outside cleaning up her leavings. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling much better. Not 100%, but much, much, much better compared to Friday for sure. Here she comes. Bean, come say hi to your peeps. <laughs> say hi to your peeps. Yes, I know. So anyway, we are going to get our day started. I am feeling up to it, I think. So we're going to go to the grocery store. We need groceries desperately and things like that. So first I want to get my shoes and car clean and so they can dry. Thankfully it's warm enough. I can just wear flip flops today. So that works. And um, yeah, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. You say hello. You want to say hello? Good morning. I know. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, March 25th, 9.27 a.m. Don't get excited. Hello, computer. Um, I'm still puppy sitting. You hear her, foot, her, her little footprints there? She's like, there she is. She likes being up here and looking out the window, but that's the only thing she likes about being in the art room because the floor is hard and it, you know, she's, you know, a special little princess and she doesn't like to lay down on the hard floor. Anyway, she's going home at about lunchtime today and I love her dearly, but then maybe I'll be able to get some stuff done <laughs> between the blood donation gone wrong and having Lily, it's been hard to get stuff done. So get a few things done anyway we'll see I did move a couple of paintings around that were over in this little window area I had whoops where are they I had these two stacked on top of each other I moved them up a bit and then side by side um, they were interfering with the chair and the and the cart that's over here I was really worried about them getting banged into so um, this way they're both still over there and I may be moving a few of these here too um, in a bit uh, and I'll, when it happens I'll explain why but yeah I might be moving some of those around so anyway it's a constant process right um, I've done my daily postings this morning although it is Monday I don't have to do as many my friend Cindy Utter helps me out and um, I do have lots of video to film but I'm not doing it with, with her here because it's distracting <laughs> I'm going to go back downstairs for a bit and have some water and sit and I guess watch YouTube because it's, she really just wants you to sit down and like be next to her. Yeah. So it's a thing. She's a very needy dog when her parents aren't around. So anyway, we'll see what we can get done. It won't be much. All right. I'll be back. So the bug people have been by already to spray. Lily has gone home and we won't actually see the, her or the kids for a couple of weeks. They are taking a break well-deserved one so I hope they have a great time um, and they're taking the dog with them so I think it's gonna be fun for them anyway I was chatting with some friends but then I lost my connection so I thought well you know what I'm gonna use the opportunity to go check the PO box glad I did because I was expecting some design team mail which I got so now guys I can send the swaps out hopefully by the time you anybody from the design team if you even watch the vlog by the time you see this it's already hopefully in the mail so um, I'm gonna head back home now check the other mailbox and then go back upstairs and redo the chat with the desktop which is connected to the Ethernet and less wishy-washy than the Wi-Fi so you know that's a thing all right I'll be back all right so that's done jiggly keys that's done and everything's in the mail uh, the funny story here for the vlog is that my sweet mail lady who 
I, she must know everybody in town. She just, you know, calls you by name when you go to the desk. But anyway, it's sort of like an episode of Cheers. That dates me, I know, but, you know, Google it if you're young. Everybody, it is Wednesday. It's after lunch, 12:41 p.m. or so. I let's see. Yeah, because as per usual, all the electronics in the kitchen all have a different time, like by one minute. But anyway, it's around there. Um, I spent the morning. <laughs> I spent a good part of the morning chatting with Apple, chatting with Apple Computer this morning. Uh, I had some. Weird things going on with my desktop. Some, for lack of a better term, ghost files that showed up in, if you're a Mac user, um, they showed up in, under all my files and the file name was there, but the file had no content and it had no directory. So it wasn't actually anywhere except all my files. It had nothing in it. It wouldn't let me delete it or drag and drop it or anything. It was very weird. And the Apple people weren't sure what, what was going on either. We finally figured out how to um, boot up my computer in safe mode, leave it there for a minute. We didn't do anything. Then we restarted the computer in normal mode and by, and magically poof, the files were gone. But it took two days, a bunch of phone calls to just, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> um, got it fixed. So anyway, um, otherwise things are good with the computer. It was very weird. Um, and I was chatting with some friends and just, you know, catching up on this and that. I do need to sort laundry and start some laundry today, but first I'm gonna go run and see if the mail's there. We didn't get any yesterday. I don't know if we're getting, getting any today. We may not have mail, but they're also doing construction like on the street right outside our little community. So I don't know if maybe the mailman just can't get down here. I don't know. So I'm gonna go check on it. I'll be back. So evidently the state of California cannot figure out that despite the fact that I've told them so, I no longer live in or do business in the state of California. <laughs> yeah, so I got a letter from the business licensing people, something about a statewide compliance and outreach program. 
Oh, that's great. It's all well and good. They're trying to make sure that all the businesses are licensed and run properly. Wonderful. I no longer live in or do business in the state of California. <laughs> Happened since September of last year. So I have called and told you quite a number of times. So yeah, fun time. I also got my copy of the new merch t-shirt in. Be a rainbow. Turned out really nice. Uh, they are available through my Etsy shop. So if you'd like one and you can get different kind of shirts and other merchandise with Be a Rainbow and other um, uh, merch logos and artwork over at Redbubble. Um, so I'll put some links in the description below. I also have some stuff at Society6 and Spoonflower. You can get fabric, stuff like that. So anyway, Be a Rainbow. Can't wait to wear it. After my chat ended with my friends, I sort of got lost in a book. <sighs> to be honest, it's either a book or art. I get When I start doing it, I get lost in it. Has that happened to you or is it just me? Please tell me it's not just me. So normally, sorry for the noise in the background, by the way, that's my washing machine. Normally I try to go walk around the neighborhood, um, and especially on Mondays after the garbage people come, they tend to leave bits and pieces behind. This week, because of what happened on Friday and the whole recovery process over the weekend, I'm running a little, little behind. So it's Wednesday and I'm just now getting to doing my neighborhood garbage run. So. I'll, I'm going to put on a sweatshirt, grab some gloves and a plastic bag, and let's go see what I can find. I don't think I was quick enough with the camera. But Bambi's out there waiting to eat for me to leave so he can eat. So, or he just ate the bowl, one or the other. I don't know. So I'll be back. You see the deer? It's just standing there watching me because I fed the, because I, I filled the bowl up. Yeah, right there. So cool. Did you see that? I was right. They were waiting for me to come inside so they could eat. It's a good thing. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, March. Crap, I just knew this a second ago because I looked it up. 28th, I think. Holy cow. Um, it's about 20 before 10 a.m. And I am headed out to go run a couple quick errands. I've got to go to the grocery store for one and I need to go deposit a check. So I'm gonna go get that done early, or rather than later. Um, Portland is no different than California was in that regard. I like to get my, mor my errands done in the morning rather than, than the afternoon. We don't have nearly as much traffic as we did in the San Francisco Bay Area, but we do have some, and I'd rather not fight with people trying to get home from work. So it's a thing. I am wearing my new merch shirt today. Oop, there we go. Be a rainbow. Yeah. Let's on. get in the closet, shall we? <laughs> so this is my new merch shirt. This I like my shirts baggy. This is a two X. Um, I don't I don't like things to fit tight, and I like them to be long. Um, so anyway, so this is that's what size. This is a ladies two X. Um, we do have a few different um styles of shirts on the Etsy store and you can also get this logo printed on different things on Redbubble so I'll link those in the description below but yeah love it so I'm going to wear it out today it's 44 degrees outside so I did throw a little sweatshirt on I'm hot in the house I'm hot and boiling outside it might be fine but we'll see anyway I'm going to go get my errands done and I'll be back well that was an interesting way to start this morning's errands 
small tiny spider in the car when I opened the door. Uh, didn't freak, doesn't freak me out. Um, like some people get freaked out about stuff. But I will say that I did make sure to catch it and use a big paper towel and before I got in the car because, again, not that I'm scared of them or anything, but a fun fact, I'm allergic to arachnid venom. I have been since I was a little kid and it hasn't gotten better over the years. In fact, I think it's only gotten worse. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can go to the grocery store and get there and back unscathed. And when I get back, I need to feed Bambi because his bowl is empty again. So. All right, I'll be back. One video edited, a bunch more to go. Oh, crap, and I need to remember to bring my rag from down here in my daily drawing bag upstairs because it's dirty and disgusting and put it in the laundry bin up there and grab another one the next time I come downstairs and put it in the, so let's, so I, uh, those of you who have a two-story house already know this probably, but so I have a habit of things I know I want to remember to bring upstairs if it's small, I put it right here. If it's bigger, I put it on the stairs. And then the next time I go up, I just grab it and bring it with me. So I'm gonna do that first, then I'm gonna go check the mail. I'll be back. What do YouTubers love who make art? Making art, doing things that are creative, filming for you all. What do we hate? Paperwork and editing video. That's what I'm doing today. Hmm. our little bird friends oh, and probably the squirrel needs some food at least when he's not eating the deer corn I think he's eating the bird food anyway let's go check it out everybody it is dark in here there we go it is Saturday morning March 30th I think we have a well dark again hang on we have a lunch date today um, we're gonna meet some people for lunch that helped us with our move and uh, we want to thank them so we're taking them out for lunch finally they're both very busy people but it's taken forever <laughs> to get a date with the two of them together. Um, so we're going to do that today. I'm going to link both of them in the description below. Really great people, super helpful, very professional, nice and nice kind people. Um, Sarah Ruffner, who was our realtor, um, helped us buy the house and also um, Joel Martin, who was the man who helped us with our finances. So um, I would definitely recommend them if you're making a move to the Portland area, give them a call. I'll link their information, websites, or whatever in the description below. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go meet them for lunch, and then we've gotta run a couple errands. We may go by the um, nature preserve that's near here. There's a, I think it's the Tualatin River Preserve um, that's 
like less than two miles from the house, I think, or less than three miles. It's really close anyway. We're going to go by there and take a look and see what we can see. First, I'm going to check the deer corn and we're going to see if Bambi has food. Oh, Hang on. No, it's empty. So let's get some food in there for them. And yes, I have makeup on and looked halfway decent today. Big surprise. So I've moved the bowl again. So now it's not on the tree stump anymore, which technically is county property. It's now on the boulder, which is our property. So nobody can say anything about me feeding the deer. And the HOA doesn't care, so yeah. Plus, you get a good view from the driveway, I think. It's a good thing. Oh. <laughs> we just had to reschedule lunch. <laughs> Again, it's a, a thing. So they're both very, very, very busy people. And it seems like it's just been super busy, uh, super difficult to get together with them. So hopefully, maybe we're going to try a happy hour instead of lunch um, sometime this next week. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I, so we're gonna rethink our day and um, check on the status of our tax return and take care of that this morning. And then um, we've gotta go out and get some stuff for the car and maybe oh, still go by the nature preserve. And yeah, I don't know what else. Anyway, I'll be back. That was a really nice like two mile hike. Yep. And uh, we're gonna head over to Al's, Al's Nursery? Big Al's Nursery. Big Al's Nursery? I don't know. Anyway, we like that place. That's what I call it, Big Al. Big Al, yeah. Um, as we were leaving the refuge, there's a really bad accident right outside the refuge on the highway. And yeah, so I hope that um, nobody's seriously injured, but it looked pretty bad. That I, yeah, there was a lot of emergency services. Yes. Um, anyway, ambulance, police, couple, fire, couple fire trucks. Fire like there truck. was a lot. There was a truck in the in the median that looked like it rolled over at least two or three times. Yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, crossing our fingers for whoever was involved. Um, so we're gonna go over to the nursery now and pick up a few things, and then we're gonna finally go home. So we'll be back, Hi guys. I almost forgot to close out the vlog. We got back from the hike, and to be honest, we've just plopped on the couch, and we haven't done much. We haven't done much at all. Too much. Yeah, we're a little out of shape, just, just a little. Anyway, we had a fun day and a fun week. Uh, we hope you did, too. Uh, don't forget to um, check out the description below for ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook. Click on my link tree, and it has links to the website, Patreon, my Amazon store, the Etsy store, along with a bunch of places you can just follow me on social media. Um, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified of new videos when they come out. Hopefully we can do a cooking with Fred soon again. Yeah, maybe soon. Maybe. And um, above all, just go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.